What do we have today, folks? We got a 2001 Club Car DS 48 volt. Obviously, as you can see, it's been in a little fender bender. Just picked this thing up a couple hours ago. Got it for a pretty good deal. It actually does run. I drove it in here. Um, but as you can see, she's a little bent up. This side looks like it's a little off. This side's definitely off. Looks like we've uh, got a uh, bent upper A arm and possibly looks to me like the spindle right there is bent going into the hub. So what we're going to do is get this thing jacked up, put it on some jack stands, gonna disassemble the front end and luckily I've got some parts laying around here off of another cart. Hopefully they'll work for this one and um, we're just gonna see if we can get this whole thing back up and going. Stay tuned and we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so now that we have got the wheels and tires off, got the cart, you know, lifted up on jack stands, we can actually get in here and kind of see what we're working with now. And as you can see, this top bracket is bent really bad, which holds the spindle on, um, which is probably causing this tie rod here to rub against the uh, frame. And then if you can see, the spindle is supposed to be straight and hold this hub at you know 90 degree angle so we obviously know that's bent um looks like the leaf spring is actually good it may have shifted back just a little bit from the impact but um other than that i think that's about all we're gonna have to do is just disassemble this uh side here get the old spindle off i've got another one to replace it with um i think i have this bracket also so we're just going to go ahead and start pulling all this apart, match up our other spindle and top bracket to make sure it's the same, which I'm pretty sure it is because it came off of a similar cart. And then once we do that, if it all looks like it's going to work, we're going to go ahead and start uh, putting it all back together. So you can see we're pretty well getting it disassembled here. We got the uh, tie rod ends off and everything, the old spindle. Now what I wanna show you guys is something that we couldn't really see before. But if you look right here on this A-arm, it is bent really bad. Let me see if I can get a better view on it. There we go. See how bent that is? That should be straight. That should be straight, not bent at all. So definitely got to replace the upper A arm. We're going to go ahead and pull the bolts out of it now. See if we got another one of those to put in it. And then uh, hopefully start putting it back together from there. I think it's going to be an easy fix, guys.
and it looks like we are in luck we have got a good bracket here with the steering arm which we are going to be using let's see here we're actually going to be using this one because it's got the uh, spot for the tie rod in and the drag link so this is the one that we'll be using it's got a good bracket on it and looky there we've got us a good a-arm so now oh, looks like we're missing some bushings out of this one so may just be able to take these out and put in this one or that one might actually be the right one i'd have to go in there and compare it but if the leaf spring's bent we've got an extra leaf spring too which i'm pretty sure it's fine um but anyhow looks like we've got our parts so we're gonna go back in the shop and see if we can get these things put on Alrighty, we got our new pieces on. Everything looks good, everything lined right back up. Now we're going to try to pull the old hub off and hopefully salvage it and put it back on this new spindle. If that all goes good, we'll have a running driving cart. Probably have less than 30 minutes in this whole thing. Luckily I did have the, you know, the parts to fix it. But very, very simple fix, guys. If you ever uh, wreck your cart, don't be discouraged. Easy fix. So as you can see, we got our hub disassembled. Nut came off easy, front bearing came out easy, but it took a lot of wax to get this uh, hub here off. And I see why. It's because it bent right where the rear bearing is. So I'm gonna take this over to my bench vise and put this in the vise somehow and see if I can get a punch in here and try to get this bearing to slide off of that shaft. But it's right where our bend is in the shaft. And I'm just not quite sure if we're going to be able to salvage that bearing. But we're going to try our best and see if we can get that thing off. Well, we just got super lucky. Our bearing, we hit it like three or four times and it loosened right up and came right off of that bent shaft. So now the bearing seems to be fine. We're gonna clean it up a little bit, put it back on our uh, new spindle and we should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh, seal off here for our grease. That'll go into the new one and uh, Guys, we should be ready to rock and roll here in just a few minutes. Well, folks, we got it fixed. We got our hub back on. 
it's good to go. It's nice and straight now. Definitely uh, way better than the bent one. These are the three parts that we replaced. The upper A-arm, the shock tower. This would be the upper, upper spindle uh, bracket, I guess you would call it, for the A-arm to bolt to. And then obviously our spindle. Those three items is all it took to fix this thing. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw our tire back on it. I luckily, I think I have another one because this one has a big old hole in it. The uh, rim's bent. And I think, yep, it's smashed on the inside. So we're obviously gonna put a different uh, tire and wheel on this side. But other than that, I think um, we're gonna throw those on real quick and then take this thing for a spin, see how it does. All right, all right, all right. This thing is fixed, guys. We got uh, two tires on the front that'll roll now. Obviously, uh, that was just a spare, as you can see. But um, we're about to take this thing on a little test ride, see how it goes. Before, we had to drag it in here. As you can see, the tire marks in the driveway there. It, uh, it was froze up. So let's see here if she'll uh, drive nice and easy. Oh, there were some tools. Oh yeah, for sure. She drives nice. Excuse my dogs. But yeah, drives just like it should. Not bad for a 30 minute fix. Just like it should. Well, guys, we thank you so much for watching our video. As you can see, bad things happen, but good things can come of it. We got it fixed and we got it rolling. We got us a good cart now. So don't sweat the big stuff. Sometimes it's really easy. Again, we appreciate you watching the video. If you would, hit that like button and also jab that subscribe button. We got more videos to come. Thanks again. Peace.